Hey guys, it's Jazzy Ray here and I'm back with another reading. Um, I am not filming outside today because it's raining. It's, it's, it's raining on and off and I, I don't want to get caught in the rain. But today, we're going to do... I do not have your name, but I just use your your um, Twitter handler. Um, so we're doing your chart today. Um, so I'm going to show you your chart. By the way, if you guys want chart readings, um, whether it's birth chart or life path number um, readings, let me know. Right now they are free. You can hit me up in the description box below. Everything, my email, all my social media are down there. So feel free to contact me and get them now while it's free because next month I'm start going to start charging. So, but anyway, let's get started. So I'm going to show you your chart. This is your chart. Focus, focus. Okay, there's your chart. So, your sun is in Libra, your moon is Aries, your Mercury is Libra, your Venus is Scorpio, your Mars is Libra, and your ascendant is Capricorn. And if we go over here, this is your masculine energy and your feminine energy. Okay, I'll explain that near the end. So, I hope you can still see me. Okay. So let's get started with your um, birth chart. So first we're going to start off with the sun sign. Your sun sign is you, who you are. It's your personality. So your sun's in Libra. Um, the duality is masculine, so it's a masculine sign. It's air, it's element. The quality is cardinal. Um, I have to explain this in every video because people don't really know what that means. Um, so you have fixed, mutable, and cardinal. Fixed is like, okay... Fix, people who are fixed signs, which is Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, and Scorpio, they tend to be set in their ways. Their moves are very calculated, very thought, like thought through. Like they, you know what I'm trying to say. Like they, everything is planned. They go by a plan. You kind of don't really need to keep up with a fixed sign because they already know what they want to do, and they only change when they want to. Okay, mutable is Gemini. Pisces, Virgo, and Sagittarius. These signs tend to be all over the place. There is no plan. <laughs> they're all over the place. You never know what they're going to do. So it's hard to keep up. Cardinal, which is Aries, Capricorn, Libra, and Cancer. Yeah. These signs put in a lot of work. They believe in hard work. Um, hard work, you know, they believe... I don't want to say they believe in working alone, but they, they tend to work alone a lot because they feel like if you want something done right, do it yourself, you know. So these people are all about action. Um, the best way to compare it is just to say if you have like a school paper and you got the first draft, second draft, and third, the final draft. The first draft, you don't really know what you're going to write about. You're just jotting things down and you just don't know what you're going to do. That would be the mutable sign. The second draft is you kind of know what you want to write about, so you stick to that that one subject. That will be fixed. And then the final draft is when you're putting in that hard work so you can get that A. So that will be cardinal. Okay, now that we got that out the way, let's continue with your chart. So Libra is a cardinal sign. Um, its ruler is Venus. Venus is the planet of love. Um, its polar opposite is Aries. They say you're supposed to end up marrying your polar opposite. I don't know how true that is. My polar opposite is Sagittarius, and we do not get along at all. So, I don't know. Um, and the likable trait I would say that Libra has is they're very charming people. They can charm the pants off, okay? Um, as Libras, you guys believe in balance, and, you know, the planet of the scales. You believe in keeping those scales um, balanced. Sometimes they tip over. Because either a Libra can be too emotional sometimes or they're kind of standoffish. So they tend to have their, have their emotions balanced and in check. Um, Libras love love. They love love and, you know, and these people, they just believe in peace and tranquility. Um, they, they are the mediators of the Zodiac. They mediate every situation because Libras are able to see both sides of every coin. So it's like a Libra is the type of person that would be like, okay, I see your point of view, but I also see this point of view as well. So you guys are extremely balanced. And I like Libras. They have such good energy. The downside to being a Libra is Libra sometimes takes everything to the heart. 
they're not emotional like a Cancer is or a Pisces or even a Scorpio. It's just that I don't know, they're just sensitive. Like it's like you can say something to a Libra and a Libra will be like, Wow. It's not necessarily what you said to the Libra, it could be how you say it to a Libra. So it could be like, Wow, you didn't have to sound mean when you say say it. You could have said it this way. You didn't have to say it that way. You know, it's it's that type thing, you know. So it's it's kinda hard to explain. But Libras, I'm not gonna say they can't lose their cool, because like I said, sometimes those balance those 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 scales are tip over, you know. And sometimes, if you got two Libras, sometimes they can, they can tip each other's scales over. So, that's like the downside. But overall, Lib Libras are pretty chill for the most part. Pretty cool. Um, so, your moon is Aries. So, the duality of Aries, which is interesting that your sun is, is Libra and your moon is Aries. Because your moon represents your emotions. So... The duality is masculine. It is a fire sign. Um, it's also a cardinal sign. It's opposite. It's Libra. I just said that. And its ruler is Mars. Mars is the planet of aggression and anger. And sex. <laughs> um, the likable trait, I would say, Aries are hardworking. Very hard workers. They believe, I don't want to say they believe in working alone, but they believe if you want something done right, do it yourself. Um, these Aries are constantly in competition, not with other people, but with themselves. So the downside of being a Leo, Leo, the downside of being an Aries is sometimes when they feel like failures, they tend to take it out on themselves and maybe take it out on other people as well. So they, they're constantly trying to prove themselves every day because these, they are the leader of the zodiacs. They're the first, the oldest. They're like the first sign. So they are the leaders of the pack. So they have that leader mentality. Either you get with it or you get gone. That's how Aries is. Now the reason why I say it's interesting because moon represents your emotions. Aries are very aggressive. They can be emotional. Very aggressive though. Very aggressive. It's like they can be assertive, but then they can be aggressive. They're, they can be passive, but only when they're in love. Honestly, when they're in love, they're like the cutest, adorable people you'll ever meet. But if they're single, like they're aggress aggressive. Okay? They will fight you. If on site, if on site was a sign, it will be Aries. So you're a Libra. When she's angry, you probably tend to get very aggressive or assertive. I don't see you being passive. So, okay. So that's pretty much it with, with um, your moon. So your Mercury is also in Libra, which means Libras are good communicators. They, they believe communication is key. In fact, they're air signs. Air signs are good at communication. Um, Libras love to talk about... I don't know, they talk about anything really. I mean, they like to have deep conversations and and they like to they're very knowledgeable people. Um they believe that communication is key. So like if you're dating somebody who's not a a good communicator, that's not gonna work. Also, Libras are very charming with their words. They know how to make everything sound so good. <laughs> Some Libras, because I date a Libra. No, no. I don't know what his Mercury was, but it damn sure wasn't Libra. Um, so they're great communicators, and they are, like I said, they're charming. They can make anything sound good, and they're huge flirts. Huge flirts. Now your Venus is in Scorpio. Scorpio is a feminine um, sign. It's elements water. The opposite of Scorpio is Taurus. Scorpio is a fixed sign. Um, it's ruled by two planets, which is um, Pluto and Mars. Pluto is supposed to represent the darkness. And I already told you what Mars is. And they're like, we'll trade idealism. Now, I, Venus... Okay. Scorpio... I feel like Scorpio gets a very bad rep. Because it's like... People paint Scorpio as being too promiscuous, crazy, 
emotional and this not and here's the thing about scorpios so scorpios i'm not saying they can't be promiscuous they can be anybody can be promiscuous scorpio they're actually very private and very secretive people they don't trust too easily so they the only way they will like have sex with somebody or fall in love with someone or befriend someone is if there's some type of emotional attachment there even if the other person doesn't feel it, that's the only way a Scorpio will claim you. It's, you know, you have to, they have to have some type of emotional thing going on with you. And they believe in revenge. So if you do a Scorpio wrong, they're going to get their revenge back on you. And they won't stop until they do. And then they go back to, hello, Kiki, hey, you know, afterwards. But, you know, Scorpios are not like that at all. Like, they, I feel like they're the most misunderstood um, they tend to have a bit of a dark side, but I think that's, that could be anybody for real. Um, so in love, same thing, like Venus is about love. So it's, it's who, how you want to be loved and how you, how you love others. So as a Scorpio, you tend to not be so easy to let people in. I, you're probably someone who has to really get to know somebody and really trust someone before you're like, hey, I will I'm gonna let you in my life. You see what I'm saying? Um, Scorpio wants a partner that they can trust, and they want, you know, for the and they want their partner to be able to trust them. So, really, I would say trust is like the main thing here that can attract the Scorpio is trust. They gotta earn your trust first, and you have to earn their trust. So it's like you're not one that just do anything with anybody even when it comes to friends like you you don't just do that you don't just be friend or date anyone so what attracts you is trustworthiness um maybe someone who has a tad a bit of a dark side who's not afraid to show their dark side and it's totally okay to have a dark side i feel like we all have i call it the shadow side but it's okay you know but i think trust may be the big thing for you and someone who's able to deal with their emotions because Scorpios are very emotional people you know but don't take that for granted though because the Scorpios are knock you out okay they're not weak don't get it twisted have you I've had a Scorpio plot revenge on me they're not weak trust me um so your Mars is Libra Mars is how we get what we want our drive so when you're thinking about relationships you want to focus on Sun Venus and Mars. So your Mars is in Libra. So, okay. How can I explain a, a Libra's work ethic? Uh, since they are cardinal signs, I do, I would say that they're pretty good hard workers. They're not like Aries though. Like Libras, they like to work with other people. Aries feels like someone would screw up things, so they tend to not like working with other people. It just depends on the job, but Labels tend to like to work with other people. They love they love group work and things like that. So they're able to work well with people. Um, sometimes. <laughs> um, it's not like a Gemini where they're kind of all over the place. Um, your anger. Like I said, Libras. I would say it takes a lot for a Libra to get angry. Like you would have to. Someone would have to really tip the scales a little bit. Like 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 I said. Sometimes I gotta do this. You know. Sometimes Libra the scales will tip over. Either they're way too emotional, like way too aggressive, or they lose, they just lose balance in their emotions. So I think it takes a lot. It really takes a lot, but I don't, I don't think Scorpios are like, not Scorpios, I don't think Libras are the type of people that really get angry like that. I think they're able to understand. They're able to understand their emotions, so I guess they know when to act out and when not to act out. That's why they're balanced. So I, I, I feel like you know, you know when to get out of control and you know when not to. You know when to walk away, you know. Sex-wise. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Libras love sex. They do. Um, again, they want a partner who's balanced. Who knows, like, like Libra wants to feel good but Libra also wants you to feel good wants their partner to feel good 
So it has to be balanced in the bedroom. It has to be fair. If Libra does something, then you got to do it too. You know, if you do something, then Libra will have to do it too. You got to keep it balanced in there as well. So y'all all about balance. And you have, what, three Libra? You're a Libra. <laughs> You're a Libra. Now, your ascendant is in Capricorn. Your ascendant is how you express your sun sign. So, it's in Capricorn. It's duality. It's feminine. It's an earth sign. It's a cardinal sign. Damn, you, you bought that work. So, you know, you got a whole bunch of... You have a lot of cardinal signs. Um, this, its planet is Saturn. Its polar is Cancer. And its uh, likable trait is steadiness. Capricorns... I can tell by your tweets. Capricorns have that loner persona like it's not like they don't want friends it's like they don't really need a team to back them up because they stand alone like i don't know if you watched flavor of love growing up you're kind of I, I, I did your chart you're kind of a little bit you might be too young to remember flavor of love but if you have seen it you should check out new york tiffany pollard that is a capricorn if you want to know how your rise how your rising sign is Check out New York. She is the like the, the, the epitome of what a Capricorn is. She stood alone. She only came there for one reason and she did whatever she had to do. Even though she lost, <laughs> you know, she did what she had to do. And that's why she's a star today. Instead of the winner. Yes, I threw shade, but whatever. Um so you probably do have friends, but you don't need your friends to back you up, is what I'm trying to say. You still have that mentality that I, I'd rather be by myself like so you're probably more of an introvert um Capricorns are tend to be all about that sh money making their money and they business they're not and they're good at managing their money too because they're cheap <laughs> okay but I will say this about Capricorns they are not ones to flaunt anything they don't flaunt their money they don't flaunt their relationships at all if they do flaunt their relationships, they must really care about that person. But the minute they break up, who are you? You're they're they're off their social media, whatever. You know they don't really flaunt anything because that's that's their business. They don't want other people in their business. So you're probably going to not really if you're in a relationship. The only people who will probably know is probably your close family and friends. People on social media would never know. So um, doesn't mean you're secretive. It's, you just you just don't. I'm not digging my. I'm not digging in my nose. My freaking nose is itchy. Okay, <laughs> I just want to make that clear. But you're probably just going to just not flaunt anything. You kind of just live your life. You know, that's what you do. Um. So yeah, that's all I can say about Capricorns. People call y'all boring. Oh yeah, and y'all um are very goal oriented. You know what you want. You're going oriented and you want a partner that's just like, who's just like that. So, you're all into, like, whatever goals you got, you're going to get those goals accomplished. Okay? So, that's, that's Capricorn for you. I thought Capricorn was boring growing up, but now that I actually did my research on Capricorn, y'all some cool people. Y'all just chill. Y'all just chill people. So, you're chill ass Libra, which your Libras are already chill. So, you just chill. You know, you just chill. Oh, I'm not looking at the camera, but you're just chill. I'm looking o over here. <laughs> so I'm, I apologize for I'm not looking at the camera. Oh, I want to get to your um, masculine. So you have very high masculine. Now, just because you have high masculine doesn't mean that you're trying to be a man. So my camera shut off. I was just talking about um, your masculine energy. Back to what I was saying. Just because you have high masculine energy, your, ma your masculine energy is in nine. So that does not mean you're trying to be a man. And just because your feminine energy is at one, doesn't make you less of a woman. So, you have high masculine. When you have high masculine, it just means that you're more physical. Not that you're not smart, but you're more physical. You, you really put that physicalness to work, which means you're probably very active. If you, have a, if you have a job, you're probably doing a lot of physical things at your job. If you have a job that's not physical, you hate that job. You hate it. <laughs> you hate it. You hate it. You hate it. Okay? And you tend to be very assertive, maybe aggressive. Some people, some people may mistake it as aggression. But you know how to stick up for yourself. As a feminine person, like, you have one feminine point. 
which means you could be a little more sweeter. You could be a little more nurturing. You could be a little bit more softer. But that's not a bad thing though. Because the goal is you want to have these two energies balanced. And you can do that. But now that you know what this means, now you can work on it. So you can have both those energies balanced. Or not, if you like how you are. You know. Some people are just naturally balanced and some people are not. But this is not a bad thing because sometimes you have to put people in their place. Sometimes you got to be aggressive. So this is not a bad thing at all. It's just you got to work on it a little bit. That's, that's that's all I'm trying to say. Um, But overall, that's your birth chart. So um, if you guys want birth chart readings, I apologize if I'm looking over here at the towel. The camera's down here and I'm used, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you guys... Um, want birth chart readings or if you want your life path number and you want that explained to you just hit me up in the description box and i'll see you guys and i'll see you guys bye i hope this resonates with you by the way i hope it does but here's your birth chart again so i'll see you and i see you guys